Welcome friends to Ascension of the Warrior. Today's class is a Krama Yoga practice. And Krama Yoga is an adaptable style of yoga that is made to allow you the freedom to fit the sequence for exactly where your practice is. Today we'll be running through one sequence three times and each time we run through it, we'll be adding variations to each of the asanas so that you can choose whether to advance your practice or to stay where you are. The beautiful thing about yoga is that where you are is exactly where you're supposed to be. So you're gonna have the freedom over the next 15 to 20 minutes to find that place and to cultivate more love and more light and more alignment inside between your mind and body as we go through this practice. You're gonna need nothing more than maybe a couple of blocks, but mostly just yourself and your mat, maybe a little bit of water, and let's begin. The yoga class you're about to enjoy is part of our 31 Days of Yoga, The Journey of the Cosmic Soul free program. You can access the rest of the 30 classes by simply clicking the link in the description of this video and get it today absolutely free. All right, guys, let's start at the bottom of our mat standing today. And let's take a deep breath in, raise our hands up above our head, inhaling, as we always do, feeling the chest expand, bringing our hands together, and exhaling, bringing our hands down to heart. One more time, here we go, breathing in, inhale, feeling the air fill up our entire being, palms together, top of the mat, and exhale. And last time, here we go. Inhale, reaching this time as high as you can, feeling yourself lift up off the mat, holding breath retention, full lungs, reaching to the ceiling, and exhale, hands down to heart. Wonderful, connecting to breath is such a fast gateway to the connectivity of mind and body and presence in this moment here. Let's take it to our mantra, just for a second, keeping our eyes closed. Let's consider the thought, I recognize that all experiences are opportunities for growth. I recognize that all experiences are opportunities for growth. We often look at things as good or bad, enjoyable or painful, arduous or easy, but the key is to recognize that no matter how it feels, no matter what label we want to put on it, growth and lessons that lead to that growth can be found in all experiences. And it's up to us to step outside of our original emotional reactions to them and to find the gem inside that will teach us why we went through it. Wonderful. A beautiful opening reflection and contemplation. Let's begin our class. Inhale, hands up overhead. Exhale, dropping down the mat. Just like this, hang out here just for a second. Give a little bit of motion in those hips. Excellent. Letting gravity do the work, finding some motion. And let's walk forward on our fingertips up towards the top of our mat. And into downward facing dog, fingers spread, palms flat. Chest coming down to the earth. Knees locked if you can. You can micro bend if you want, but pushing the heels down towards the mat. Coming back to our breath. Coming back to the moment right here. Try to let go of all other thought and just be. Be here with all of us in this moment. Collectively cultivating light and love and balance and equanimity inside of ourselves. Just warming up the body here. And on your next inhale, let's walk up towards the front of our mat and begin our first sequence. Rising up with an inhale to Samastiti. Palms out, chest forward, chin up, eyes closed. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out. Here we go. Deep breath in, raising hands up above head, bringing palms together and exhale dropping forward inhale come up to fingertips straighten the back and step back with that right foot there we go drop the knee and coming up with an inhale then exhale bringing the hands back down we're going to step forward with that right foot 
next to the left and we're gonna step back and drop the knee once again inhaling coming up feeling the arch of the back feeling the stretch exhale coming back down palms flat stepping into plank inhale exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing dog and exhale back to downward facing dog all right we're gonna lift that right foot up into the air point at the toes and step forward on the mat toes pointing forward we're gonna pivot the left foot so it's at an angle and we're gonna come up into warrior one just like this ideally your knee is on top of your ankle this leg is straight and you're pivoting at the hip so that your chest is po pointing forward warrior one now we're going to drop pivot this foot pointing forward this way into warrior two palm at the back up palm facing down there and just leaning forward just a bit just like that taking a deep breath in and exhale a deep breath in and exhale to peaceful warrior dropping your left hand down to the outside of your leg and reaching over with the right feeling that side body open wonderful bringing that gaze up to your fingertips if you can taking a deep breath in and exhale extended side angle we're going to drop our elbow onto our knee keeping that knee stacked we're going to reach with that left hand over our head to the top of the mat keeping that foot engaged really feeling it in that leg right now wonderful take a deep breath in and exhale back to warrior two holding here just for a minute connecting to the breath bringing the gaze to your fingertips that's your drishti it's your point of focus deep breath in and exhale cartwheeling the arms stepping forward into warrior three hands planted to support this time through holding the leg just for a moment and coming up bringing the knee to the chest rotate that ankle just for a warm-up of it and we're gonna step back almost into a warrior three again but we're gonna plant our foot with our feet there we're gonna pivot right like that into wide-legged fold and we're gonna come up reaching arms above head palms together and exhale hands to heart all right let's take it to the other side walk your feet slightly closer together angle this foot just a little bit towards the front of the mat and swing the arms into warrior one we're on the other side now stacking that knee paying attention coming into your breath take a deep breath in and exhale out deep breath in and exhale out warrior two there you go keep that gaze to the fingers holding here trying your best to extend the spine as if something is pulling you from the roof and crown of your head to the ceiling and you can lean just slightly all right with a deep breath in then exhale we're gonna fall back into peaceful warrior one breath here inhale fill up the lungs all the way and then audibly exhale we flow over into extended side angle on the other side wonderful hang out here just for a moment all right and then deep breath in exhale back to warrior two and now let's swing those arms around and come up into that supported warrior three for a quick breath a quick moment together here inhale and exhale bringing that leg up in front of you just like we did on the other side rotating the ankle coming into yourself and dropping down into samastiti palms out chest forward chin up come back to some conscious breathing exaggerated breaths oh 
deep breath in and exhale. Now, let's take it over to level two. On your next inhale, raise the arms up above the head, stretching up, bringing the palms together, arching the back slightly. Exhale, diving down to the earth. Inhale halfway up, straightening the back. Exhale, stepping back with the right foot, not dropping the knee this time, and inhaling, coming up into lunge. Exhale, hands down to either side of the foot, stepping forward and reversing, stepping back with your left foot. Inhale, coming up into lunge. And exhale, bringing the hands back down to the mat. Stepping back into plank with an inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. All right, let's lift the left leg this time up into the air. And we're gonna step forward and find our way into warrior one, just like we did on the other side. All right, this time in warrior one, we're gonna bring our hands behind, clasp the hands and open up the chest. Opening the heart, letting the oxygen come in with each conscious breath. All right, inhale, exhale. Warrior two, wonderful. Inhale, exhale, peaceful warrior. Holding here, just for a moment. Inhale, exhale. This time we're gonna go extended side angle, but we're gonna drop our hand down to the mat and gaze up to our fingers. Wonderful. Inhale. Exhale, coming back up to warrior two. <sighs> Inhale, we're gonna swing our arms, coming into warrior three like we did before, but this time we're going to lift our hands to our heart. Point that toe, hold for just a second. And inhale, bringing the knee forward, this time grabbing with your left hand, your, your leg, and bringing it out forward straight. You can do two hands if you like, if that supports better. I find the opposite hand to foot makes it a little bit easier. And wonderful, we're gonna step back, almost into another warrior three, but we're gonna land and we're gonna pivot. We're gonna come up and drop down into wide-legged forward fold this time. Hands down to the earth. Hanging out here just for a second. Reconnecting to this moment. Reconnecting to this part way through the sides. Level two, first half complete. And now let's bring it around, pivot the foot and find our way into warrior one. Once again, just like the other side, clasp the hands, open up the chest. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale. Exhale, coming across to extended side angle, just like the other side, we're gonna drop our hand down to the mat, gaze up to the fingers. Hold here just for a second. Inhaling, filling up the lungs, and audibly exhaling as we find our way back to warrior two. Inhaling, exhaling, curling those arms around, coming up into warrior three, bring your hands up to heart this time, finding our balance, finding our center. Use your drishti to the earth as if it's another limb touching the ground. I find that's the best way to find your balance here. We're gonna come around, grab the foot, just like we did on the other side, and straighten the leg. Beautiful. All right, big breath in, and dropping down, level two complete. Let's take a deep breath, hands up, exhale, down to heart. Finding our way into Samastiti, opening up that chest, closing the eyes, checking in with ourselves just for a moment. How did that feel? Do you want to stay at those versions of those asanas? Did they speak to your body? 
Or would you like to take it up to level three on this next time with us? So as I offer the variations, consider how they feel and know that you can be more supportive, customize it more to your ability, and how you're feeling today, by choosing to opt to stay on level two or go back down to level one. All right, here we go. Let's take a deep breath. Hands overhead, palms together, and dropping down to the earth. Halfway up, straightening the back, stepping back with the left foot, and coming back up, not dropping the knee this time, and taking your right arm, reaching back to the back of that left leg, and opening up beautifully. Deep breath in, and exhale, wheel it back down. Step forward with that left, stepping back with the right this time, and coming up with an inhale, and dropping that left arm this time to the back of that right leg, and opening up beautifully to the sky. Take a deep breath in, and exhale, cartwheeling those arms down to the mat. And we're gonna step back to plank with an inhale, chaturanga with an exhale. Inhale up, and exhale downward, facing dog. Going back to lift our right leg this time, point the toes, and step forward in to warrior one. Just like we always do, and this time, you can clasp those arms. If you wanna take it that one step forward, just dip down low, just like this. Folding at the waist puts a lot more stress on those legs, a lot more strength is needed. And inhale, exhale, come up. And inhale, finding our way into warrior two. Inhale, exhale, peaceful warrior. And coming into the motion, coming over to extended side angle. How we did it before, dropping the hands. But here, if you wanna take it that one step forward, drop your arms behind and reach underneath and bind the angle. It's totally fine if this isn't in your practice. Find what works for you and go with that. All right, holding for one more breath. Inhale, exhale. Coming back up into warrior two. Beautiful. Now cartwheeling the arms like we always do, finding our way back into warrior three, hands to heart. Or if you wanna take it further, try to extend the arms out in front just like this. Inhale and exhale, bringing that leg back up, grabbing the foot with the opposite arm once again, holding out and to take it further, reaching with that hand, just like that and opening up. Bringing the gaze across if you can to the fingers. And there we go, dropping. Wheeling into warrior three. And once again, finding our way into wide legged fold. This time, you're gonna grab one ankle, bring the motion over, grab the other, play with this, just like so. And then we're gonna grab our hands and sink in with binded fingers. Excellent. All right, let go of the binded fingers, bringing your hands down to the mat. Pivot those feet, finding your way into warrior one, into a lunge, and lift up. Hands overhead, bind it as level two, and dropping down is level three, just like so. Holding here just for a moment, take a deep breath. And exhale, come back up. Finding our way into warrior two. Inhale, exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, exhale, extended side angle. Once again, dropping down with your hand, binding if you can, opening up the chest to the front of the room. Just like this, closing your eyes, trying to find the stillness in this activated asana. Oh. Inhale and exhale, let go of the bind and come on up back into warrior two. Inhaling and exhaling, cartwheeling those arms, coming in to warrior three once again, hands to heart level two, hands extended out front, level three, just like that. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Taking the right foot with the opposite hand, and extending it out, and 
bringing that arm back. Just like that. All right, holding here. Finding the stillness. Taking a deep breath in. And whew, exhale, dropping it down. Oh, all right, inhale, hands up overhead. And exhale, dropping down. Inhale, straighten the back. Exhale, stepping back with right foot and let's swing our body around. Find our way into our last asana here. A deep, wide-legged forward fold. Hands flat. If you can, bring your forehead down to the earth. Finding the stillness in the breath. Feeling the muscles all shaking. Checking in right here. How is your body feeling? What signals are it sending? And how is your energy level? Just take quick checks and imagine where you were a short 20 minutes ago. So we come back up, plant your hands, and let's step in with our knees to the middle of our mat. Come down into hero on our sit bones, on our heels, and inhale, hands up overhead, bringing the palms together, filling up those lungs, and letting it all out. Dropping your hands down to heart. Thank you so much for joining me today for this beautiful Krama Yoga journey. I look forward to seeing you here on the mat with me again soon. And I wish you nothing but the perfect day that you deserve moving forward. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this practice. I just wanted to let you know that this class today is actually part of our free 31-day yoga program, which is called The Journey of a Cosmic Soul. And if you wish to access all of the classes, you can simply click the link in the description of this video and get the entire program for free today. And with that, I thank you again, and we'll see you soon.